Good evening. My name is Danny Mosby. I am the executive director of the Jamal Brown Foundation. Uh, I've been the, the executive director for, since 2017, the biggest blessing of my life. Uh, we are here to discuss the Jamal Brown Foundation Empowerment Center, which is a two-pronged plan to attack the violence that is curbing our youth and young adults in our city. Um, there's been a lot of, of uh, too many, whether it's JCPS or, or just random violence and, and, and violence between our, our, even our young women that we are overly concerned about and have been concerned about for two years. And so we want to um, let all of you know at this moment that this is an introduction for partnership. We are not trying to reinvent the wheel. We are trying to duplicate services and become a incubator for nonprofit. Can, can we give a round of applause for that? Because we do not have that in our community. All right. And so uh, the, the, the center at, we, we're right now at 22nd and Jefferson, we have an initiative that has already started uh, that involves affordable housing and an empowerment center. What we want the 30th in Madison site to be is an extension of that 22nd and, and Madison initiative, which will also incorporate affordable housing for young black professionals, new teachers, new black police officers, doctors, lawyers, bankers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, as well as a new skating rink and a bowling alley. How many of you guys were around when uh, Big A Shopping Center had a, had a bowling alley, right? All right, what about Mr. Burns and Broadway Roller Ring, right? It's been decades since we've had a skating rink, and we feel like if, if our kids can have that type of entertainment and, and th that type of safe place um, and also have wraparound services, I, we feel like if you know better, you'll do better, all right? So, uh, but at the end of the day, I know you guys are here to hear from him. This is Jamon Brown. I am just here to execute the goals uh, of he and his family. Uh, I, I have a tough job. He's a tough boss to work for, but he's a cool dude, all right? So Jamon played at the University of Louisville. We are both from the West End, born and raised, um, and we're proud to say so. Jamon even lived in Russell, so that is part of our why, okay? So he's, he's born and bred Russell. Uh, he also was drafted by the St. Louis Rams in the 2015 draft and then played for the L.A. Rams, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Philadelphia Eagles. So without further ado, uh, I see some young athletes back in the corner. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. When, when you, all of you guys are going to make it. But what I mean by this is what it looks like is he comes from certain types of circumstances. He made it, and he's giving back. Thank you. I would... Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to follow that um, introduction, so to speak. But um, like Danny said, my name is Jamon Brown, and I stand here um, in front of you all, a Russell result. Um, I played from California, Jets, right, to working out um, on Saturdays with my dad at St. Stephen's Life Center. Um, this is my neighborhood. This is where I want to be. And so part of climbing to success, what I wanted to intentionally do was be a beacon of hope for my community, right? And for people that come from where I come from um, to inspire them to dream big, right? Dream big, um, but then there is a village that can help you reach those dreams, right? So the Empowerment Center's whole intent um, is to create a resource hub that not only our youth um, can be connected to, but their families, right? Can connect to um, this facility, this venue, and be connected to different entities, nonprofit, um, for profit, um, youth leagues, um, but just create a space that can wrap around our community and give us the opportunity um, to reach some of the limitless possibilities that's out there. Like Danny said, we've got young athletes here. Um, all I've tried to do is be an example of um, reaching a, a really a level that they say is impossible. Right, having obstacles um, and circumstances that stack against me, um, being able to show how to persevere, how to, you know, find that village, right, that can help you reach um, that level of success and how to do that. And so, the Empowerment Center, as you can see, um, takes about 30 million to do. We plan to bring again um, luxury apartments and condos for our young black professionals while creating the space 
that can bring people together. All right, you see um, right here, a uh, retail space where right? I want to be able to allow our um, black business owners a space to get out there, have a platform, right? Um, I was on the NFL, one of the biggest platforms um, in the nation, and all I've tried to do was partner with other um, entities to increase and amplify their platform. So again, um, you can see the bowling, bowling alley and the skating rink, right? That was my way of trying to um, kind of rekindle some of the some of the things we've lost, um, and also some of the things that's near and dear to me that uh, brought a lot of friends and family out. Um, and again, like I said, my why is I'm a Russell uh, result. Um, I stand in front of you again, um, having the Russell believe in me um, and being able to wrap around me and help me stay focused on the journey. So um, the Empowerment Center is here to empower uh, Russell. Thank you. It is short and sweet, but how, how do we align with our parks partnership um, and, and how do we align with our parks goals? Our affordable housing initiative will teach young black professionals financial literacy and put them on a path toward home ownership. Um, we were talking about this. So, <laughs> um, I was drafted, part of when I was drafted, I well, was drafted to St. Louis. Um, there was um, a luxury apartments with retail space, um, which rookies moved into. Um, I felt like that was what helped me put on, put me on the trajectory of home ownership within three years of being in my career. Um, the ideal is if our youth um, and our young adults are um, put into a situation that can put them on that trajectory, um, the same results could happen. And so that's the idea behind it. Well, give it up again for the that but um, a part of what we started is in partnership with the rust right and one thing that was intentional for them is ensuring that the residents had um, their space um, in this opportunity uh, what we want is to create a platform not to control the space um, so the whole intent is to help bring resources to the space that then makes whatever Russell's vision or dream is for that space Come to life. Thank you. 